Hello guys, my name is Oluwafemi Adibanjo and this is my coursework presentation for cybercrime and cyber security uh, module which I'm undergoing. Um, uh, the purpose of this video is to showcase the uh, use of a cyber security toolkit as within the coursework specifications and I will be using this medium to showcase how SQL injection and um, use of SQL map, how it works, <clears throat> what it is, what it is has always been discussed in my literature review. This video is to showcase um, how it works, how it, where it's installed, the tools you need as either a real hacker or an ethical hacker. Uh, I will be performing ethical hacking uh, techniques because that is legal for me for educational purposes. Um, all the skills or all the tools I'll be showing you right now must not be used on real websites if you do so you are performing an illegal act you have to get the permission <clears throat> the owner of the website you have to get the permission before i'm going to you be using that. a virtual box a virtual machine which i have ubuntu os installed <clears throat> between my linux i will also have multi day and sql map sql map installed sql map or sql map whichever one you prefer installed on the virtual machine. Mozilla Day is an intentional website. It's an intentional web page that has been designed for people who want to practice SQL map or any sort of injection techniques. This is specially designed. There's several tools in there that teach you that lets you practice in a safe environment. So this has been installed and published on my VM and SQL map has also been installed on my VM. We're going to go into my virtual machine right now here. Yeah. And for me to find out um, if SQL map is actually installed and ready to go, I would run this command SQL map dash dash version. This will check and find out if SQL, SQL map is installed. Of course, it's installed, and the latest stable version for my Ubuntu OS is in there. And then it says I haven't updated, which is fine. No problem about that. Next thing I want to do is confirm that my Motility Day is up and running. As you can see here, my Motility Day is up and running when i go home this is the url for my material day either this this is the local ip of the virtual box it could be localhost slash machine day right and this is the home page of material day for us to undergo these steps of how sql injection and use of sql map, sql map works we're going to perform a basic sql injection in this page the user info page now the purpose of this page is to showcase the details of a details of a um, user you put in your details your username and password and it tells you other information about your user for us to find out if this is vulnerable to attack we're going to register a username right and the username we're going to register is going to be my name we'll do Femi we'll do Femi again as a password we'll confirm the password what will be my signature this is my test is my case study once this is done i'll create an account and it shows that femi has been created with username femi and femi i mean as a new user this should be the only information that's available to me i've gone ahead to create a new username and password for my two lecturers which is steph and dickward you'll find the usernames and password there steph steph and dickward dickward now going back to this page i want to perform a basic SQL injection to find out if this page is vulnerable to be attacked and for me to do that I am going to input this SQL script it is colon space or one equals one space dash dash and space what this does is it kind of tricks the database system to I mean display records if one equals to one of course one will, will always be equals to one and because of that it will display virtually all the records that are available <clears throat> on this multi day system when i do view account details and if you scroll down you'll see that 27 records have been found that means 27 usernames and passwords that exist in this system can be found and you can see there's an admin password the signature there's um, other usernames and passwords and if you scroll right to the end you will see my name which is Femi Femi. there this is my test case study right um 
also the other usernames are created deeper deeper this is deeper step step and also tested these are the usernames i have created into this um into this system of motility now that's the first step i know that this username uh, input pane is vulnerable to sql injection that means it's not secure i could use this to get access to other parts of the database which is the interesting part we're going to go into for this to happen i have to i mean go back to my terminal on the ubuntu os and run a couple of scripts right so what we're going to do is we're going to use a real username and password which we've created to log in into here so we're going to do femi and femi again we will do view account details to view just the account of femi as you can see it displays it but what we need is actually this url which we are going to copy right and then we would go back into the terminal right and we are going to do sql map uh, if you're not sure what commands you're running on sql map you could just do sql map dash h which is the help and it shows you basic help screen of commands possible commands that you can actually use right and if you start from the top you would see these like the u the url how it should be done how you should you can use it to target um some of these uh tape i mean these databases and see information help is uh, h is for help v is to check the version of the sql map other things you can check for is <clears throat> you can increase the level and the risk to perform uh, more advanced um, commands you can check the current user current the current database uh, the website is running which is what we're going to do if you check passwords tables and things like that that belong to the database management i mean the database of this website maternity so the first thing we're going to do is to check the current database we're going to run this command on sql map <clears throat> to check the current database that this website today is running so what we do is run sql map right so map dash dash url equals to quotation mark we're going to paste we will paste we will paste in there the so we'll paste in there and then we'll close the quotation mark. Once that is done, we're going to run the other bit, which is dash dash current dash db. This command is going to show me the current database that this um, website is running, right? As you can see, before it actually makes the connections, we need to accept the cookie. That means the session request on the website will do yes. Once you do yes, it goes in there and it gets us all this information. Uh, if you're running this for the first time, it may take a while because it has to run some test commands and some union uh, query commands to test the connectivity and for the type of database your website is using. And this is for Maturity Day, which runs, as you can see here, it runs on MySQL version 5.0 MariaDB fork. That's the information of the database is running. It also goes one step further and tells us the name of the database which is Day. now we have an information we can work with as a cyber uh, at, as, as, as a hacker or even a, a penetration tester who is meant to prevent this attack <clears throat> with the, with the uh, what's it called with the authorization of the said company now we know that there's Day in there we can find out other informations about Day. we can find out what tables are stored on that Day database uh, in this system so for us to run that we're going to go back you can press up or down i mean when you press up it goes to the last command that you ran on on your terminal <clears throat> on ubuntu once you do that uh delete this off we don't want to see the current we've seen that already yeah but we're now going to check the database i have a couple of scripts i've written down here this script right here the multi day tables would show me the list of tables that are available in multi day right so what we're going to do is we're going to do this which means the database multi day as it is spelt in there the multi day but i want to see the tables that are in multi day once that's done <clears throat> i press enter and then it goes in and it checks and it says oh we need to do the cookie thing again of course do the cookie thing honestly and then it goes in there 
and as you can see it brings out the list of tables inside the multi-day database and as you can see there's a table called accounts blocks tables capture data credit cards uh, help text hit log level one help including files page help now if you're wondering what these things are all these things are what you would see in the material day website as you can see youtube video tutorials all the tables these things are stored in would be found in this database all the user information that we've just got in here where they're stored and we see something more interesting we're seeing things like credit card so that means this particular website has a table called credit cards that has stored credit card information we're going to get into that but for the purpose of how sql map works we're going to now go into this accounts table we want to see the records that are held in the account for us to do that we are going to again go back to the previous um to the previous command and shorten these tables we want to see t what else we want to see in t so that means we want to see the database motility we want to see the table and what's the name of the table i want to see what's inside accounts right once that is done i press enter and he again comes back he needs a session authorization i say yes and then he goes in and pulls this information now it's pulled all this information but it's outputted it somewhere but i want you to dump it onto my screen for me i'll do t <coughs> i want you to dump it onto my screen i'll do this and i will go dump right so it will take this information as for session id and goes and it dumps all this information onto my screen as you can see this is the list of username and passwords and their signatures i can see the administrator here i can see the username i can see the password and i can see the signature all this information is there i've just accessed the username and database table of the multimedia of course it is intentional but you will be shocked how many um old websites or websites that are not as as secure as they should be that store this information and then people can actually go in there run this uh, target uh, account target these accounts and then that's say you, you you have access to this information and you can see username and password of everybody including the ones that i've just created if you look to the end you will see deeper deeper this is deeper you will see tests the ones i've just created all this information is all in there it's now we've been able to access all this information, the username, the passwords of everyone. There's this other thing that we saw uh, initially, which this other table, which is the credit cards. Now I want to access these credit cards. As someone with malicious intent, these sort of tables is something I'll be interested in. Usually what people want to steal, your username and your password, they can dump it on, uh, on the black market for anyone who wants to see, they can use it to collect some yeah they can even use it to access your accounts if they wish to right and i want to see what's in the credit card uh the credit card table <clears throat> and i go credit on the underscore card and i want it to dump it on my screen and also to a physical location on my um virtual box and i do this as you can see ask me for a session co uh, cookie again i go yes and as you can see it displays the records of credit cards that are stored on this website so if there are websites that actually store the credit card information on those websites they are susceptible to attacks they can be attacked and your information can be gotten from those websites that's why sometimes when you're trying to buy something or you're trying to pay and it says input your card details they put a small note in there that this website does not store information or your credit card information if it's not there do not input your card details because that means if that site gets attacked your details are exposed this is how sql map works i can run several scripts and get information out of this database as with any other database with sql map it's a powerful tool used, used by hackers and used by penetration testers um, as you can see uh, that's that's i mean for basic this is this is how sql map works um, that is the end of my presentation uh, this is the game it is not a step-by-step -step guide it is just a showcase of a cyber security toolkit as within the requirements of my coursework uh, for step-by-step -step guide on how to install ubuntu install multi day via other means via docker there's loads of resources on youtube that you can follow 
um, this is not a pro tip this is just for academic purposes these are the references that i've used um sql map um from the website Kali linux although i used ubuntu at the end of the day lockheed martin the creator of the cyber kill chain um the virtual box was from oracle and the multiple day was formed i mean created by owasp and that's where all the information about multiple day can be found thank you for watching See